and doors were barred and all the windows fastened down. I spent the night in sleeplessness and rose at every sound, half in hopeless sorrow and half in fear the day would find the soldiers breaking through to drag us all away. And just before the sunrise, I heard something at the wall. The gate began to rattle, and a voice began to call. I hurried to the window and looked down into the street, expecting swords and torches and the sound of soldiers' feet. There was no one there but Mary. So I went down to let her in. John stood there beside me as she told us where she'd been. She said they moved him in the night, and none of us knows where. The stone's been rolled away, and now his body isn't there. We both ran toward the garden, then John ran on ahead. Found the stone and the empty tomb, just the way that Mary said. But the winding sheet they wrapped him in was just an empty shell. And how or where they'd taken him was more than I could tell. Well, something strange had happened there, but just what I didn't know. John believed a miracle, but I just turned to go. Circumstance and speculation couldn't lift me very high, 'cause I'd seen them crucify him, and I saw him die. Back inside the house again, the guilt and anguish came. Everything I promised him just added to my shame. When at last it came to choices, I denied I knew his name. And even if he were alive, it wouldn't be the same. Suddenly the air was filled with a strange and sweet perfume. Light that came from everywhere drove shadows from the room. Jesus stood before me with his arms held open wide, and I fell down on my knees and just clung to him and cried. He raised me to my feet, and as I looked into his eyes. Love was shining out from him like sunlight from the skies. Guilt and my confusion disappeared in sweet release, and every fear I'd ever had just melted into peace. 